Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Experiments with People, a creation by Robert P. Abelson, Kurt P. Frey, and Aidan P. Gregg. Experiments with People, 2003, provides insights into 20th century social psychology and what it has taught us. These summaries shed light on self-discovery, the unseen aspects of human behavior, rationale behind our decisions, and the true level of human altruism. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Robert Paul Abelson was a psychologist and social scientist at Yale University and a fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. Kurt P. Fry is a psychology professor at Bridgeport University in Connecticut. Aidan P. Gregg is an associate professor in the psychology department at Southampton University in the United Kingdom. With 10 key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, an overview of a century of research on human nature. The text discusses the concept of human nature and how social psychology experiments have helped psychologists understand why people behave the way they do. It highlights the influence of group belonging on behavior, people's lack of awareness of their actions underlying reasons, and the role of social psychology experiments in illuminating human behavior. Key points include why people invest in doomed projects, how situations shape behavior more than personality, and the existence of gender roles to rationalize inequality. Key idea number one. People frequently hold misunderstandings about their emotions and thoughts. People often misinterpret their behavior by attributing it to stress or other factors. Introspection, the practice of reflecting on thoughts and feelings, can lead to inaccurate conclusions about behavior. Memory is influenced by present beliefs, leading to distorted recollections of past events. Key idea number two, we value things more when we've made sacrifices for them and when they are presented positively. People tend to value things more when they invest a lot in obtaining them, even if the items are not actually very good. This can lead to overrating the value of what we gain and makes it difficult for us to cut our losses. The way options are presented also influences decisions, as shown in a study with different pamphlets about mouthwash, where positive language led to more orders for a free sample compared to negative wording. Key idea number three. Situational factors influence behavior more than character traits. Even those considered compassionate may ignore others in need when in a rush. Studies show slow individuals are more likely to assist someone compared to those in a hurry. People tend to explain their own actions based on situations, but judge others based on character. It's crucial to consider the challenges others face. Sometimes acting contrary to intentions can be beneficial like intentionally staying awake to fall asleep faster when exposed to loud music. Key idea number four, mental processes can lead to misjudgment. People tend to accept information at face value before questioning its accuracy. In a 1993 study by Daniel Gilbert et al., participants unknowingly suggested longer jail sentences for an accused person when distracted, affecting their decision-making. Additionally, a 1976 study by Fred Iroff and Robert Abelson showed that participants who felt a sense of intimacy with their partners believed they had a telepathic connection during an experiment, illustrating how good vibes can influence perceptions. Key idea number five. Fiction helps us cope with the real world by accepting it as reality. People tend to deceive themselves into believing everything is fine and use strategies such as rationalization and forming stereotypes to make sense of the world. A study showed how individuals may avoid seeking medical help by convincing themselves they are not ill if they do not experience specific symptoms. Similarly, gender stereotypes are formed to justify societal roles as shown by a study using fictional alien races to highlight how perceptions of assertiveness can be attributed to roles rather than innate traits. 
This demonstrates how stereotypes can influence perceptions and assumptions in society. Key idea number six, group loyalty and pressure influence our behavior significantly. People behave differently in groups than when alone. Group affiliations influence perceptions and behaviors. Studies by Hastorf and Cantrill, Cialdini and Ash show how group dynamics affect behavior. Group pressures, social norms, and the power of conformity influence actions and decisions. Individual behavior can be influenced by the group, but can also be swayed by a dissenting voice. Key idea number seven. Groups can facilitate negative behavior. Human behavior in groups can lead to negative actions due to diffused responsibility, de-individuation, and exclusion. Studies show that individuals are less likely to offer help or follow rules when in a group setting. Examples include the diffusion of responsibility demonstrated in Dali and Let Us See study and the de-individuation effect shown in Dina's Halloween experiment. Exclusion from groups can result in extreme antisocial behavior as exemplified by the tragic case of Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold who committed a school shooting due to feeling ostracized by their peers. Key idea number eight, attraction and prejudice are driven by unconscious factors. The exposure effect suggests that spending time with someone can make us like them more. Behavioral confirmation can make us find someone attractive if we believe they are. However, negative prejudices can also influence our opinions, even if we are unaware of them. This was demonstrated in a study by Dovidio et al. in 1997, where participants showed quicker associations of negative words with black men exhibiting hidden biases. Key idea number nine. People are susceptible to influence and can be led to commit harmful actions. Participants can be influenced to change their opinions or act against their beliefs through cognitive dissonance or authority figures. Leon Festinger and James M. Carlsmith's study showed how participants altered their beliefs after contradicting their actions. Stanley Milgram's study revealed that people could perform extreme actions under authority figures' influence, even administering a potentially lethal 450-volt shock. This highlights the power of obedience and the potential for individuals to act against their moral compass when following orders. Key idea number 10. Altruism and love are real. Humans can display altruism as evidenced by the C. Daniel Batson et al. study, where 60% of participants signed up to help someone despite knowing others had already pledged assistance. Love has been associated with making a loved one part of one's sense of self, shown in Arthur Aaron et al.'s 1991 study, where participants hesitated to sort descriptions about their spouses as not me, indicating a strong connection and integration of the spouse's identity with their own. In conclusion, social psychology provides insights into human behavior and relationships. Understanding studies from the 20th century helps us comprehend human actions, motivations, and mental processes. Further reading includes Influence by Robert B. Cialdini, which explores persuasion techniques and how to defend against manipulation. Feedback on the content can be shared via email at rememberstoryplanet.net with the book title as the subject line. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on storyplanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on storyplanet.net.